to equip the police better, at least 1,000 new vehicles are being procured for the police this year. Already 200 pickups have been allocated under Operation Calm Life with 200 saloon vehicles to be delivered soon with more to come. Today is a happy day in the relationship between the government of Leonardo Danko Kufuado and the Ghana Police Service. Ladies and gentlemen, you will recall that on 6 March this year, at the 61st Independence Day Parade, I assured the Ghanaian people the government will provide the means and do whatever it takes to enable the police discharge their duties effectively. Some two months after, at the commissioning of the new Tessano Divisional Police Headquarters, I indicated that 200 saloon vehicles will soon be delivered to the Ghana Police Service. Today's ceremony is a fulfillment of that pledge. We're doing all of this because this, this government believes that the most essential things for a nation are the peace and safety of its people and its territorial integrity. It is when these are guaranteed the citizens can go about their normal lives in security and try to improve upon the quality of their circumstances. We all sleep feeling protected when the men and women of the police service work to keep our nation, our communities, and our streets safe. It is therefore vital that the executive should offer its full support to the police to allow it to perform its duty of maintaining law and order. Government will continue to mobilize whatever assistance it can to enable the police, provide the, Ghana, the Ghanaian people the kind of service they deserve. This year, we are undertaking the rehabilitation of police stations throughout the country to standardize the infrastructure. Resources have also been allocated for police kits, protective gear, and, other, and adequate quantities of other essential equipment. And more vehicles are on the way. Our aim is to strengthen the police, fashioning it into an honest, disciplined, efficient, and robust force, whose emphasis will be on proactive and preventative policing rather than reactive. I urge the police to pay particular attention to the proper maintenance of these vehicles and use them to serve and protect the Ghanaian people. When the citizenry and police work together, we can be assured of our safety and security, and then we can challenge all our energies and resources into building a progressive and prosperous nation. May God bless the Ghana Police Service and us all, and may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.